bucks in the Mojave wasteland. I am Mr. New Vegas, and I'm here for you. We've got some news for you coming right up. Citizens of Otter Vegas are flocking to the strip and drop. That's the new sheriff. That should keep the Carter gangers away. Hey there, youngster. Got a new sheriff, as you know. Meyer's a bit rougher hewn than I might have liked, but he seems like a good sort. So far, so good. That beat up old thing? What do you want to know? A courier dropped it off a couple of months back. I got it working for a little while, but the darn thing pooped out. I haven't been able to get it up and running again. I was hoping to use it for some courier work, but that ain't gonna happen. This program was brought to you by Gamora. Hell if I know. I don't think it's serious, but my tinkering days are long gone. I'd like to play one of my very favorite. Are you welcome to try? It's yours if you can get it working. If I had my way, I'd dump it in the scrapyard in Novak and be done with the damn thing. Don't go getting yourself shot. Can't catch us with two. Have you done what I asked? Fantastic. I'll have Chainsaw begin work immediately. Well, as soon as he gets over his fear of heights. But you let me worry about that. You've got more important things to take care of. Well, we have the paint, thanks to you. And we have the vision, thanks to me. But to finish... To truly make this a masterpiece, we need to make this more than a commentary. By making it a piece of living history, a monument to the end of empires, old and new, what we need is the blood of a king. Well, this is the best part. You get to choose. There's two of them vying for the throne as we speak. President Kimball of the NCR, and Caesar of the Legion. Well, him or Caesar, or just get them to donate blood, it doesn't matter. We can always say you killed them later. Quick!
What do you want? Yeah? That stuff will kill you, you know. Worse than any camp. Studying ants. Trying to figure out how they tick. If they tick. Or if they even have tickers. My daughter disagrees with my hobby. She thinks we should farm geckos. Geckos? Have you ever heard of anything so ridiculous? Long story. Long and boring. But if you like being bored, I used to work in agriculture. Soil, mostly. Trying to get the grass to grow in places it plain didn't like to feed the Brahmin. Why, we made them in the backbone of our society? I'll never know. And though, they can carry 50 times their own body weight. That's some sturdy backbone. Does grass grow on dirt? Of course not. Not anymore. And that's why we need ants. They don't need acres of land to graze, and they can reproduce by the millions. Yeah? And a Brahmin will kill your sister if it could hold a gun. Animals in the wild don't have a moral compass. I don't see why not. Ants are good at taking orders. Unlike, say, bees. You don't know gum about ants, do you? Ants are the ranchers of the insect kingdom. They can hood and milk apis just as well as in the cowboy. You don't try and build an ant farm. The ants are the farm. My plan is to live among the ants as a worker drone to understand their culture. First though, I have to figure out how to communicate with them. Mm. 
no one is. This is an entirely new field, but I'm not unfamiliar with the uh, uh, scientific method. I know all about Sir Francis Bacon and John Q. Hamburger, but unlike those pork brains, I've actually worked on a farm. I've got a plan. You see, ants communicate through some sort of telepathy, just like Jesus. That's how they tell the colony where the food is, or sound the alarm when there's danger. Easy, because they don't make a sound. It's like radio waves of skull termites. You can't see them, but they sure should exist. Simple. I turn my body into bait. I'm going to turn myself into a delicious man roast and get the ants shouting and screaming to all their friends. Once I learn the ant word for food, I'll be able to summon the colony at my leisure. Only this time, I'll have some real food set aside. From there, it's just a matter of putting myself in the assembly line. Thank you, friend. Tell you what, if I ever figure out how to speak ant, I'll teach you a few words. Maybe even some naughty ones. Oh yeah, ants got them words too. Watch yourself. Grandma used to make the best ramen Wellington this side of the Colorado. Did you see that? That guy was gonna kill me. I am now. I was just minding my own business heading west when that psycho came out of nowhere and started shooting. He kept shouting about stars or something. Does that make any sense to you? Some what? Never mind. I'm going to take a few moments to compose myself, then head out. Thank you again. Tommy's rumbling just thinking about it. I'd like to try and fix Sucker. it some if I get the chance. Yeah! Who won the lottery? I did! Smell that air! Couldn't you just drink it like booze? <laughs> Are 
Are you kidding me? Never felt better! Yeah! What lottery? The lottery! That's what lottery! Are you stupid? Only lottery that matters! Oh, oh my god, smell that air! <laughs> Powder ganger? What? I mean, yeah, used to be, sure. But not no more. Powder gang is small time, man. I'm a winner! I won the motherfucking lottery! <laughs> Bye. Damn it! I was nodding off until you barged in here, and I don't hurt when I sleep. Just give me some goddamn medics and fuck off, will ya? The Legion happened. What the fuck's it look like? I don't know. I just love it here. What the fuck do you think, asshole? Prize for second place was I got to live, but they beat my fucking legs with hammers. I'm fucking crippled, get it? Bullshit. You're holding. You just want it all for yourself. Luck, that's how. I'm just that fucking lucky. You're looking at the second place winner of the Nipton Lottery. That asshole Swanick took first place. So him they let walk. It ain't like we came to Nipton to play it. Me and my crew had it worked out to kidnap some NCR troopers who come to town to get laid. Had it all worked out with the scumbag mayor. We were going to ransom them off, keep their weapons for ourselves, a nice score. We get in position, and next thing we know, we're surrounded by those fucking Legion freaks. They dragged us and everybody else into the center of town. And that asshole with a dog on his head, he starts talking about how we're bad people. He said we needed to be punished for what we did. Not all of us, but some of us. And then he gives everyone a fucking lottery ticket. What do you think? He started drawing tickets and that's how people got punished. First up was the lucky losers. They got decapitated. Guess that's lucky cuz it's pretty quick. Then came the crucifixions. God damn, but those went on and on and on. Third place runners up got enslaved. I got the fuck beat out of my legs and the winner, they let go free. Him? When his ticket came up, they burned him alive on a pile of tires. Yeah, a bunch of those Legion fucks dragged them off right away. They were headed east, if you're feeling heroic. Don't act like you'd be doing me a favor. I don't give a fuck. Bye.
gosh. What happened? Don't worry. I won't have you lashed to a cross like the rest of these degenerates. It's useful that you happen by. I want you to witness the fate of the town of Nipton, to memorize every detail. And then, when you move on, I want you to teach everyone you meet the lesson that Kaisar's Legion taught here, especially any NCR troops you run across. Where to begin? That they are weak and we are strong? This much was known already. But the depths of their moral sickness, their dissolution, Nipton serves as the perfect object lesson. Nipton was a wicked place, debased and corrupt. It served all comers, so long as they paid. Profligate troops, powder gangers, men of the Legion, such as myself. The people here didn't care. It was a town of whores. For a pittance, the town agreed to lead those it had sheltered into a trap. Only when I sprang it did they realize they were caught inside it too. Yes, and herded them to the center of town. I told them their sins, the foremost being disloyalty. I told them that when legionaries are disloyal, some are punished, the others made to watch. And I announced the lottery. Each clutched his ticket, hoping it would set him free. Each did nothing, even when loved ones were dragged away to be killed. Ha! <laughs> Innocent. Hardly. Cowardly, though. They outnumbered us, yet not once did they try to resist. They stood and watched as their fellows were butchered, crucified and burned, one by one. They stood and hoped their turn would not come. Each cared only for himself. Then I bid you, Wale, until we meet again. Good team, huh?
Somebody's cruising for a food.
Heard you helped out Jackson. Really appreciate that. Caravans are still waiting for clearance to move out. But at least there's movement. What? There's no way. We're miles from the Colorado. They... They aren't even waiting for the dam to fall. They're already inside the borders. We'll never stop them. Not at this rate. We're doomed. Thanks for bringing the word. Even if the news is bad, I'll let the men know. Watch yourself. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. Well, that depends on how far you're willing to go. I'm sure there's a cam that'll fix her up just as good as any shrink. Are you suggesting I get my daughter, my pride and joy, hooked on drugs? I'd say if there was a line, you just crossed it. Michael, the day we met, I hit on your wife, killed your Brahmin, and got you so drunk you nearly shot your little girl while she was still in your balls. If you had a line, we wouldn't be friends. You check out the Nipton Town Hall yet? Smoke trail's not getting any shorter. Legion this far west? You're fucking kidding me. That's not outside the border. They're moving in, and fast. Nipton wasn't the most friendly town, but... All right, thanks for checking on that. Wish it set my mind at ease. Now I'm more on edge than ever. In Nipton? Hell no. Town was a shithole, asking to be burned. Just not by Legion. Nobody deserves that. Well, thanks for hoofing it there and back, even if it was bad news. Wish we could spare the troops to go hunting, but orders are to stay put. Fucking Mojave's gone to hell, and all I can do is sit here and watch. Ha, <laughs> Baron. New face in the outpost. Must have come from the north. So, what do you have? Not too much. A lot of caravans going nowhere. A lot of troopers going nowhere, too. A few prospectors here and there, but they don't do more than stink up the place. Everybody's backed up here. You'd think it'd be good for business, but most of the traders are tight with the caps, even the larger caravan outfits. Work around here? Might check with Jackson in the main building, or ghost up on the roof above, but watch out. She's, well, she's kind of a bitch. Don't tell her I said that, though. Might take a bullet some night when I'm going to the latrine. Take a look. Fine, then. Looking for trouble? Well, keep those eyes up and turning, or I'll set them spinning. Got no time for gawkers, or anyone looking for something I ain't selling. How about a drink? How about a couple is what you mean. Drinking to forget, and it's only getting me mad instead. Whiskey always gets my temper up now more than ever. Drinking used to cause all sorts of trouble back west. Before I punched enough people, that is. And they learned to lay low when the whiskey hit. Lost my caravan heading north. The driver burned to ash. And they didn't even take the cargo, they just burned that too. My guess is Legion. They're trying to cut NCR's supply line, and the Mojave outpost is proof. Got us locked up tighter than a New Vegas virgin. No caravans in, out, and just try arguing with Jackson about it. 
Roads aren't safe, he says. No shit, you washed that old fuck up. I didn't need a Brotherhood scribe to tell me that. Yeah, he's been with NCR so long, all he can see is the worst outcome of everything. So he doesn't do anything. Jackson won't let me head north. It's not safe. And even though my caravan's gone, my caravan papers are keeping me here. So if you came here for work, my advice? Go find the Crimson Caravan Branch south of Vegas. They can help you out. No shit. <laughs> Drinks on me then. Still, not like I'm going anywhere. Caravan title's still keeping me here even though it's dead and gone. What's on your mind? Whiskey and me are old friends. Keeps me going when times get rough. Like now. Got me into the caravan business, you know. Had to start transporting water instead of liquor, though. If I hadn't switched over, I'd end my trip with nothing but glass bottles rattling on the back of the Brahmin. You're looking at it. It's a watering hole without much to brag about. It's like a Brahmin drive gone wrong. Supposed to be a gate north, but you come here, you get caught in the pen. Better to head back home. If you don't have a gun and a will, don't matter much what you do when you reach here, except stare at that fucking monument outside. Don't even tell me you missed it coming in. It's like NCR showing its dick to all the East. If the Republic put as much effort into protecting the East as they put into those two asinine giants outside, then they'd be worth that monument. Statues of two men shaking hands covered in blood don't seem to be nothing to brag about. I'm speaking figurative. Isn't any blood on their damn hands. Of course, when Caesar comes walking through here, they'll be blood for real. And after the blood dries in the sun, he'll melt that piece of jet-induced sculpture down and reshape it into a bull. Which, by my reckoning, is making up for a deficiency of his. But no matter what the state of his pecker, he's sure giving the West a good fucking. One's a ranger, one's an NCR trooper, supposed to represent unification of West and East, or some such shit. As far as those two iron lovebirds go, They've got more spine you'll see in a year from the NCR government. Huh. Maybe you're right. Brimmed hats always throw me off. Well, fine, whatever. They can be shaking each other's dicks. Wouldn't change the Mojave now. You take care now. Ask. Well, I've seen your arms, so no, I guess I don't. What I can't figure out is how they're doing. Hey there. Prim has a new sheriff. That should keep the powder gangers away. Howdy. Howdy.
How are you doing?
What's up? It's uh, Winston. They call me Winston. Originally we're from New Reno, but Dad got to be in his bonnet to move south and start a Brahmin farm. And Mom, of course, was thrilled. Never really got along before, my folks. But the farm, the smells, Mom hated it. They fought every day. Got to be, she'd use me as an excuse to go see some guy in town. A trader from the hub. She was never gone too long. Then one day in the middle of the night, she left. Just a letter saying she couldn't take it anymore. Didn't take long after mom left for dad to lose it. I didn't realize how much she did to keep the farm running. Neither did my dad. That's about all I want to say about that. A while ago, the NCR put a bullet to him. Water poacher, which as you know, it's just a mean way of saying we were dying of thirst. I was 10, and they plugged in like killing a feral ghoul. Called us water rats. When I saw what they did to my dad, something broke inside of me. It was like my head filled with bees. I could hear this drum inside of my chest. I had to get the heck out of there. I had to get the heck out of everywhere. So, I just ran. I ran until I didn't recognize anything. What saved me was a group of runaways like myself. Gave me food, water, shelter, and new life. Look, I really hope you're not planning to work with the NCR, but I'm with you, no matter what you decide to do. Dad would always look for comic books whenever he went into town, for the both of us. Anytime he brought back a new one, we'd read it together. I suppose that's why I like him so much now.
Hey there, need anything? you to mess with me. Got you now. So what are we gonna do after all this? Back to delivering packages?
We can take them. Float like a blow fly, sting like a cazador. Trolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winner. McCarran doesn't like it when civilians wander into military outposts, so if you're here on business, better make it quick. Radio signal out here can be pretty spotty because of all the hills. Sometimes our scheduled updates don't go through. When it happens enough times, they send someone over to check up on us. Lately, we've been getting extra medical supplies for some reason. I'm in no rush to give the supplies back, either. I shouldn't have said anything in the first place, and I'd rather not get you into the habit of crossing the NCR. Ranger Station Charlie. We're responsible for keeping the highway up through Novak civilized. All quiet at the moment. Ranger Beaumont is in charge here, but he's off leading a patrol. We're part scout, part commando, part sheriff. The training is brutal, and I'd say 8 out of 10 recruits washes out before the end. Before you get your ranger badge, you've got to prove you can be quieter than a shadow, and more ferocious than a deathclaw. The rangers mostly draw from the basic NCR army. A trooper who shows exceptional skill at fighting and scouting can be nominated for the training. A couple dozen, I'd say. Most of them posted at stations like this one. We either man the station or patrol the immediate area. See you around. Go quietly. The Legion can count on them. When I got this assignment, I was hoping there'd be more gambling.
Every night I walk this town, ship round. I'm looking for the bully, but the bully can't be found. When I find the bully, I'm gonna knock you down. I'm looking for the bully of the town. We just need to get better at drawing them out. making a four-course meal out of me. That monument? Is that what Death Claws were in the before times? Well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit if it ain't my old friend from Good Springs. Likewise, friend, likewise. Is there anything old Vic can do you for? Well, this ain't New Vegas, but I reckon you can find what you need here. Try the office out front. Don't rightly know. Just got the notion to make my way to New Vegas. Reckon I'll find out when I get there. Seeing how this is the only road around, I'd be a sight more surprised if we didn't run into each other from time to time. Novak? Nice enough place, I suppose. But between you and me, when I rolled into town, my skin start to itch. Watch yourself. Now don't go getting all paranoid, partner. That bullet in your brain band probably just bucked your Brahmin a little. We're all friends here. No, don't believe I did. But you might ask around. The Novak folk usually see anyone traveling this way. That's a mighty fine offer, but I'm gonna need to conserve my strength if I'm gonna make it all the way to New Vegas. I'm sure you'd do just fine without old Vic slowing you down. Be seeing ya! Who sent you? I ain't talking. They tried to get me to talk before, but I didn't say nothing. And I don't aim to now, by gum. Confounded, no Mark, you done it again. You let on that you know things. Now they'll never let you be. All right, stranger, you got me. What do you want to know? Cause they know I ain't just barking here. What I say is God bite, cause it's the truth. Them quack doctors can say what they want about all the rat scorpion stings that done pierced my skull, and I know what I seen. There's been things of a disturbing nature going on at the McBride Corral. Seems every night one of their herd meets a most unnatural death, and always there's holes all over the body. Work of the chupacabra, the livestock vampire, says no bark, but they don't pay no mind. Too many holes, they say, and there's bullets in them. Well, says no bark, we got a chupacabra with an automatic weapon. And that's when they get real quiet, because now they see the predicament we're in. I come face to face with the chupacabra himself one night, whilst I was investigating whether this gecko was hiding his treasure from me. He was the meanest, ugliest chupacabra you could imagine. Had two heads and fangs down to the ground. Best I could tell anyways, since when he come up to me he was invisible. Had himself a blunderbuss, what would rotate and shoot bullets real fast out of a backpack. 
Never seen nothing like it. Walked right past me having an argument with somebody. But I only saw one chupacabra, so I guess the other fella had to be invisible too. Only more invisible than the other one. Folks will tell you that they seen ghouls up near the rocket factory. Sensationalist hooey, cooked up by superstitious yokels, seeing phantoms of their own imagining. Ghosts, commie ghosts, we don't know they're dead. Hoping to steal our rockets, so they can fly up and paint the moon pink and draw a Lenin face on it. I seen one of them disappear and reappear before my very eyes. Although, being a scientist, I have to admit I might have just blinked for longer than usual, what with the shock of seeing a commie ghost and so forth. Sure have. Camouflage, that coat was, trying to hide from extraterrestrials what can only see in black and white checkers. But they're not fooled, because he forgot to put checkers on his face. I told him so, and he seemed to take it to heart. They stayed here a night, and was up by the dinosaur, talking to the sniper fella with the mustache a couple of times. If anyone asks, we never spoke. Well, welcome to you. You look tired from the road. Why don't you relax a spell? Let this fine town take care of you. We're in a little desert oasis, name of Novak. This is the Dino Delight Motel, and it's mine. Oh, what am I doing? I got to thinking about making a good impression and plain forgot to tell you my name. I'm Jeannie May. I take care of folks here at the motel, long as they aren't troublemakers. Well, there's Dinky, the town mascot. He's a sight. You probably already saw him when you came in, but you can go up inside, too. Up the roadways to the west, there's Repcon. That's the old rocket factory. There's been some sinister characters out there lately, so you may want to stay clear. Other than that, nothing to do but take it easy and enjoy good company. Well, up north a ways, you'll see a big tower. That's Helios 1. Used to be a power plant in its day. And there's a town just east of here called Nelson. Used to be such a quaint little place until those slavers took it over. But we got our wonderful snipers keeping an eye in that direction, and so far, the slavers have left us alone. I just know what I've heard. There's supposed to be some ghouls that went in a while back. Ever so often, there'll be a commotion from that direction. Explosions and such. Watch out for strangers! I hope you're finding everything to your liking. Well, I think that's a fine idea. I'll give you a good flat rate, and you can stay as long as you like. At least until the busy season comes. Sound good? I'm glad you can stay with us. Your room will be the one upstairs, closest to the lobby side. Here's your key. Let me know if there's anything I can do to make your stay better for you. Go see Cliff Briscoe at the Dino Bite gift shop and tell him I sent you. I think he gets lonely standing around in that dino belly all day. He'll be glad for the company. Well, let's see. Dusty McBride's been losing some Brahmin, but that's probably the heat more than anything. Honestly, it's been real quiet. 
Ranger Andy's still hurt, but we got these two gentlemen snipers watching the road day and night, keeping the trash out of Novak. They've been a blessing. Watch out for strangers. She hasn't paid me Bye. anything yet. Should I be worried? Between you and me, I don't think she studied at an accredited institution. What can I do for you? Are you sure? You won't be able to read in the dark as well. Okay. And remember, if this doesn't help, try taking a bath in tomato juice. What can I do for you? That's not so bad. I'll have you looking as good as new. I mean, what are the chances of me botching another routine procedure in the same day? All right, I'll just get my scalpel here and, uh... Did I leave that sitting outside? Well, you know what? Free tennis shot. Look who's here. Hey there. In from out of town, ain't you? Name's Dusty. Losing don't describe it. It's a massacre. A few more days and there won't be nothing left to lose. Every night around midnight, Alice and I wake up to some crazy hollering and gunshots. You'd think the world was ending all over again. But it's just one animal each night. They don't take it or carve it up or nothing. Just leave it there, all full of holes. We'd be grateful, especially if you find them before they get my whole stock. But don't go getting yourself killed over it. Alice and I'll find a way to make do. Always have. Oh, I tend to my ranch. That's about it. Alice will tell you, I don't get out a whole lot. I beg your pardon, mister, but them two-headed beeves ain't worth getting shot over. Not to mention what would happen if half of what Nobark says is true. Best we can hope is that whoever's doing this will move on or get tired of it. I just hope it happens while we still got animals left. Whoever it is, I don't think they're from around town. Seems like they've taken to shooting from the west side. So long. What brings you here? 
Oh, well, I'm Alice, and you've already met my beau, Dusty. He's sweet, ain't he? I don't care what my mama said. I know how to pick him. We set up this ranch years back when Novak was just getting settled. But now, with all the danger on I-15, folks are starting to come through here from all over. Novak might just be the next Nevada boomtown. Well, that's the strangest thing. Last time it happened, I could swear I heard someone cry out for help. Sounded like a big fella. But when we finally got up the gumption to go look outside, all we found was our cattle. And I know what they sound like when they get upset. I can't imagine what went on. Dusty can probably tell you more about it. I'm not sure who started it. it. Wasn't a very nice name, but he took to calling himself by it, so we all had to. I don't even remember what his real name is. Anyway, I think it comes from that expression that people say when you're crazy, that not all of your dogs are barking. Poor no bark. Oh, we keep to ourselves for the most part. Try not to pry. I think Jeannie Mae gets bothered that we aren't more sociable. But it's just our way. Ain't that we don't appreciate what she's done, managing this town like she has. But I worry she feels that way anyhow. Not that there ain't others who pry around here. That no bark was skulking around our yard last week. <laughs> I thought he was our cow killer. Was about to lash him with our bull whip till I saw who it was. He's harmless, though. Part of me wishes I could see things like he sees them. All full of mystery. Nice of you to visit. With all the people passing through lately, the town's been doing better than, well, ever. something snatching cattle at night. Why do they blame me? Why? Is there something I should know about? No. But you know if push comes to shove, they're gonna think the ghoul did it. Eh, let them. they think you're out there, that means they won't be looking for you in here. 
You try anything funny and Brooks will blow your brains out. Took this job as a favor. Normally I don't work with his kind. And by his kind, I mean paranoid assholes. No offense, but I need to focus on getting more rest when I'm off duty. I'm not sleeping so good. So now's not a good time. If you want to talk, catch me when I'm on duty. I'm up at the dinosaur after 9 p.m. weather for flying. It's times like these that make me miss it all. Vertebrate pilot. 71 missions and only lost one chopper. Rotor malfunction over Klamath. Hard landing, but I walked away. Four? No, not exactly. It was a long time ago. Things are a lot different these days, and those days are way behind me. I help folks strip down the more complicated bits of salvage they bring in. Engines, mostly. The bits and pieces we take out are usually worth more than the whole thing put together. Watch your six out there. Don't kill me. I swear I'll have... Wait, you... You don't work for Mr. Bishop, do you? Sorry, it's just... You look like his type, you know? You got that hard-ass wasteland explorer thing going on. Oh, so you have heard of me. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I was the big draw at the Shark Club. People used to pay hundreds of caps to see me. You don't know Mr. Bishop. He's not like other bosses up there. He knows the wasteland like the back of his hand, and he likes to wander it. I knew if I didn't get way the hell away from New Reno, he'd run me down like a dog. Oh, well, that's all just a big misunderstanding, see? Mr. Bishop, well, he owed me a lot of money, and, uh, you know, he's a busy guy, so I sort of figured I'd just take it off his hands. Robbed is such an ugly word. It's more like I took care of a payroll problem for him. Also, I might have... Uh, sort of plowed his daughter. A little. Thanks. But if Bishop finds me and I don't have his money, my balls are going to be on his trophy wall. You'd do that? Great. I really appreciate that. Uh, yeah, yeah. See you later.
Prim has a new sheriff. That should keep the powder gangers away. Welcome to the Dino Bite gift shop. My name's Cliff. If you're here for the T-Rex figurines, you're just in time. There's still a few left. Bless her. Seems like every traveler I get in here tells me the same thing. They see the sign and think, gift shop? That's just too good to be true. But Jeannie May always points them back in my direction. Well, a friend of Jeannie's is a friend of mine, and my friends get a discount at my store. Well, there's T-Rex figurines, of course. That's our bread and butter. We also have an assortment of the Repcon factory souvenirs, rockets, things of that nature. Guns? I, uh, well, yeah, I guess I might have a few. Darn it, no one ever buys the T-Rexes. They're scale replicas of the real thing. Very detailed. Got a liquid in them that makes them glow. From what I hear, Repcon used to give them out on tours of their HQ up in Henderson. But I guess they had to stop after the first few kids thought they were filled with Nuka-Cola and drank it down. The papers had a name for the condition and everything. They called it the Repcon Shakes. Those were bad times for Rob Cole. Well, they unloaded what they had left on the Dino Bite as a tax write-off, but that was before my time. Plenty of demand for them, seeing as how they're one-of-a-kind collector's items, but I might still have some in back. A fellow enthusiast, huh? That's great. Let's play. What's going on, man? I'm Manny. I'm on security detail here. 
You see a rifle barrel sticking out of the dinosaur's mouth, you got a 50-50 shot at me. Otherwise, it's boom. You name it. Anything that comes within a thousand yards that looks like trouble. Lately, we've been getting ghouls, coming from the road to Repcon out to the west. Quite a few last couple of days. The big threat is the Legion coming from the east. If they decide to attack with a full force, they'll run us over. But so far, we've been lucky. Boone's a sniper, same as me. Used to spot for him when we were enlisted with the NCR. After we got out, I talked him into settling down here. So, here we are. I'd introduce you, but uh, we're not so friendly right now. Me and his wife, we didn't see eye to eye on some things. We had some pretty big arguments. One day, she turns up missing, and he hasn't said a word to me since. And you name it. See, I grew up in North Vegas. Me and my cousins, we were some bad seeds. Got in with a gang, I loved it. Then something happened, and I couldn't handle it anymore. So, I enlisted, earned my future, brought down my best friend to share that future with me. And here was this woman, who was too good for it, trying to take him away. So yeah, I didn't see eye to eye with the bitch. Were they tough? I was in the cons, man. It doesn't get any badder. Oh, it was great. I wouldn't trade it. Something about that lifestyle, the discipline, seeing new places, making people safe. What's not to like? Uh, well, I just felt like it was time, you know? Wanted to have a home. Plus, I was up at Camp Golf when Bitter Springs went down. I faked like I was sick to get out of going because I knew some of the people there. But when everybody came back, nobody would tell me what happened, and people would call us murderers sometimes when we showed up to secure towns. I still don't know exactly. Just that a lot of people died who didn't want to be a part of the fighting at all. I don't blame anybody for it. There's so much chaos when you're fighting. You're lucky not to shoot your own guys. But it did take something out of it for me. It just wasn't the same. So when it came time to re-enlist, I just took my papers and walked. Sure I know him. What do you want with him? Doesn't surprise me. The guy seemed like he'd do whatever it takes to get what he wants. Probably makes a lot of enemies. Well, listen, I can definitely help you find him, but I've got problems of my own. Maybe we can do a trade. You need my help. There's something I need, too. Novak, it's home for me now. I want that to be for good. I like it here, and I've left too many homes behind. But the only resource we got here is junk. Without that, people wouldn't have anything to trade. They don't have to leave. We get most of it up the road from the old rocket test site. But a bunch of ghouls showed up one day and took it over. We can't get in there now. I would, but I've got to watch the road. Caesar's Legion has been taking territory just east of here. They took Nelson. If we let our guard down, they might attack. All it takes for the Legion is for them to sense weakness. Well, they gotta go, or this'll be a ghost town before long. Doesn't matter to me what you do. As long as the ghouls are out of there, that's good enough for me. It'd mean a lot to me. Yeah, see ya.